Well, good morning, all of you. Today I'm here as a representative of Holy Child Academy School, and I'm very happy. And it's my privilege that I'm here to teach you some lines and strokes of uh, the alphabets. Now, uh, let's begin our class. The lines and strokes of the alphabets. Lines. In lines and strokes, we have four different words which is used for the students who are the beginners and who are uh, the preschoolers. Now, number one, the line is here. Number four, our first step is standing up line. Standing up line. Up line. This is our first step. First step. So, uh, what is the meaning of standing up line? The standing up line means that we will go to the upper and we go to the downward. The line which goes upward and the lines which go downward. This is called the standing up line. So how do you uh, teach our uh, children uh, to standing up line? Now we will point some dot over here, not like this. Point some dot like this. Some more dots. More dots. And now we will tell our children to trace it. The, they will trace the line. First they follow the line and then, then they will trace the line. Trace it nicely. A key point uh, touch the point and then trace the line. This is a very easy way and a simple way to understand the alphabet and the standard of that. Now, again, some dots over here and trace it. Again, some dots over here and touch the point and just join the line. After some time, you have to point only two dots. Two dots. Two dots. And tell them to trace it. They will trace the dots this way. Again, this way. Again, they will touch the dot and trace it. So this is called the standing up, standing up line. Now we will go to the sleeping line. Sleeping line. So what is sleeping line? Sleeping line means the line which goes in this way. This is called the sleeping line. So again we will uh, give some dots over here and tell them to trace it. They will just trace the line like this way. Again they will touch the line and trace it. It's very simple to understand them. Again give some dots over here and join it.
is exactly like sleep. This is called curve. Now, the last one is slanting line. Slanting line. Slanting line. In slanting line, we have go to this slant line like this. We will draw it like this. Exactly like this. Now, again, we will uh, means uh, we have to just uh, do like this and tell them to trace it this way. It's very simple to make them understand. Again, like this, like this. So this is called the slanting line. And in sleeping line, you have to leave two dots for here and tell them to trace it. They will trace it nicely. Again, two dots, join the line. And in this curve line, you will do like this and trace it. And in slanting line, give two dots over here and tell them to join this. Okay, one more thing. This is the first step of standing line. This is the second step of the stand, uh, sleeping line. Second step, step. This is the third step of curve line. And last but not the least, this is a slanting line. And it's a fourth step. And here, this curve is known as right curve. This is left curve. This is right slanting. And this one is left slanting. So it's very simple. First step is standing up line. Second one is sleeping line. Third is curve line. And fourth step is slanting line. Then uh, now we will go to the another portion of this uh, lines and strokes. I'm going to wipe this all. One more line is over here. That is this one. This one is down curve and this is up curve. Down curve and this is up curve. Circle. Circle. Now let's begin the alphabets. all the lines and strokes which I just teach you. It's very simple to make them understand. Please uh, do like this. This is the four lines in our English public. This is the four lines. And here I am uh, just putting some dots over here. Again some dots and tell them to press it. The children should do like this. Press it. Again. Now we will go to the left portion, the left slant. They will follow and join it nicely. Join it Now, again, we will do like this. We we'll give some dots over here. The right slanting. And the one more dots is here. This is called left slanting. And give a middle one. Now tell them to press it. They will point out and press it nicely. Exactly this one. And cut the middle part. This is called the sleeping line. That means this is the right slanting. This is the left slanting. And the middle one is sleeping line. Now we will go to 
B. Letter B. The half curve. Again, the left half curve. This is the one of our uh, line, and we have to standing line, and we have to curve. This is the left curve. Now, this B. Again, we will go to C. Now, join it. Join the dots. Again, to some dots and give the cover, the big cover, and tell them to press it. Then we join uh, the sliding up line and then we go to the curve, the big curve. This is called T. So, uh, viewers, it's very simple uh, to teach your children or teach your students uh, to do like this. So I hope uh, you can understand all the things which I just taught you uh, now and uh, nothing more than that I will teach our, in my next class for the next day I hope you can understand all the things and behind my camera my most lovable uh, Devati ma'am is there she, she is helping me to making this video Thank you everyone